Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to access context in the backend side. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to use bean underscore size option in the context, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the WebLens channel under the playlist. You can see Odoo development playlist available with the different topic wise, with the different task cases. And in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub, make sure you can follow that repository. So let's back to our main topic like how you can access context in the backend side, I mean in the Python side. So here, if you see this context playlist, we already discussed about like what is context, how you can perform some operations in the front end side i mean in the xml side right so all are these topics are available now we are trying to do some more operations using the back end side i mean in the python side so how we can do all right so let's say for example i want to check what is the context default values so for that like let me go to in the student profile here uh, let's say I will try to debug this method and in case you don't know how to configure Odoo in PyChamp please check editor level playlist I already explained. So here the first thing is I'm going into this list view and then after I will open this form view and I will try to click to this button and now you can see we are going into this backend terminal right now we can access the context so first thing is if you will use this self right and if you will click you can see the current student record set is available and the id is the file right and if you see here in the front end side the id is also file now let's say what is like how you will get the context the first question is here like how you will get the context right so here you can get the context using a different way like let's say self.env.context like this way you can get this context and the second thing is like this context using this underscore and this context both are the same there is no any difference only the sort way if you want to get the context you can just use self or let's say here the record set or something like that then after dot and then after you have to apply underscore context or self dot env dot context the env means the environment of this current logged in user okay so here you can see it will automatically retrieve this information okay so the first thing is the language so right now i'm using the english language so it will return the language code right then after the tz so this is the time zone like right now in my profile I just configured this Asia slash Calcutta right and uh, this UID means like current user ID so current user ID is 2 and then after you can see allowed underscore company underscore IDs right and here you can see it's in the list and there is a one more ID is there the one one means the company ID res.company's record set that specific record set id and then after let's say if you pass something in the front end i mean in the xml side right in the especially in the windows action right so here also you will get the same informations so let me confirm the same thing so now let me go to here that default name and now you can see this is the windows action and here we pass this information right so due to that okay so here automatically the pycham automatically closed right let me do one more time this context like this and now you can see self dot and if you will try to add something like this right let's say like this by mistakely then after you can see here the attribute error here it will showing your specific module name uh, model name the object has no attribute context 
So here, the thing is we can't use directly this context. There is a two way, either you can use this self dot underscore context or self dot in dot context like this way. Okay, this is the dictionary format. So how you can also get the information from the context, right? So let's say I want to try to get this default name. What is the default name? So I will do something like this, env dot context. I can use directly like that specific uh, key name, right? And you, you will get here the result. Let's say you don't want to use this direct key, right? So sometimes what happen? Like let's say this ABC key is not available and if you use like this, then what happened? It will rise the error, right? So if you remember in the Python, we are using the one dictionary method, the get method, we can use the same one instead of this one. So let's say if I will use something like this get ABC, right? And if I will press the enter key, it will return the null. It will not rise the error because you can see this ABC keyword is not available, but let's say UID. If I will press enter, you can see the if the key will match or available, then it will return the value. All right. So this is the basic information about the how you can access the context using the backend side. If you have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in our next session.